Sudan is a great example. The Chinese had made deals with Sudan uh, many years back with their oil because South Sudan is, has a lot of oil. And so the U.S. got in there and used its military and its influence, split the two Sudans apart uh, to try to cut China out of South Sudan. And the Chinese went and made a deal with the U.S. proxy South Sudan government. They got the oil anyway. So we're not very good. We're not even very good at an empire. <laughs> yeah, right. That, and in some ways, that's not too bad of an idea, but uh, we still never give up because we still have a lot of wealth and we still have all the weapons and people uh, are intimidated by our power and our military and our aggressiveness. But someday that will change and we might have to uh, deal with the world in a different, uh, in a different manner. And, of course, uh, I'd like to see that done voluntarily rather than doing it when we're, uh, you know, under duress, when we're, we're having financial problems. But 